How's it going guys? The other day I installed the latest version of the Unreal Engine as at the time of this recording on my system and my laptop crashed and uh, the error message was D3D crash. I had no idea what the error message means so I had to go online make some inquiries. I saw a few conflicting and confusing things. Initially I actually thought my graphics card was corrupt or my GPU memory was going bad. I had to go on YouTube to find a lasting solution but unfortunately I couldn't find any tangible solution so I was confused. I didn't know what to do. Some guys on YouTube even told me, even went as far as telling me to reinstall my Nvidia graphics card. But at the end of the day, all the solution they gave me never materialized to anything. After so many sleepless nights and research done by me, I finally got the solution. And uh, the solution is very simple. Stay with me till the end as I walk you through. To solve this problem, all you have to do is simple. First, you open the Unreal Engine interface. As at the time of this recording, the uh, version of the Unreal Engine that I use is 5.3. You click on the Edit menu, then you scroll down to Project Settings. Immediately after you get to the Project Settings, you go to your search bar interface and type Virtual. After you type Virtual, different options will pop up on your user interface, on your Unreal Engine user interface, I mean. Then you scroll down to Virtual Texture and click on Enable Virtual Textures Support. And make sure you uncheck Enable Virtual Texture on the Texture Input. And there you have it. Problem solved. Just close the Unreal Engine application and uh, restart your system and i believe the problem will be solved permanently if you like this demonstration don't forget to like share and subscribe furthermore if this is your first time of opening the unreal engine interface let me show you how you can uh, successfully navigate around the unreal engine interface if like i said this is your first time of working on this application after you have successfully installed the Unreal Engine 5 and you are at the game development menu, of all the gameplay menu available, uh, for now, I will advise you to pick the blank menu. When this interface opens, don't let it get you overwhelmed. In this walkthrough, I intend to show you how you can easily navigate around the viewpoint effortlessly just with the help of the mouse and some alt keys that will make your workflow easy. All you have to do right now is get a pen and a note, jot down the tricks. If you want to play test the game, just click on the play icon here and the Unreal Engine application will outrightly enter the gameplay mode. After you've entered the gameplay mode, you can easily navigate your character or your camera around your game environment with the use of w a s d buttons take note w a s d i repeat w is to move forward a is to move to the left hand side x is to move backwards and d to move to the right hand side I believe you got to that. And to also activate your camera interface, just left click the mouse and move the cursor around to your preferred angle. I repeat, to activate your camera interface, just left click the mouse and move the cursor around to your preferred angle. And when you are done with that, and you want to come out of the gameplay mode just press the escape key and if you intend to zoom in your camera just right click and press the button c this will help you to zoom your camera angle to your preferred location or angle 
and to tilt the camera view from side to side you just press the middle button and tilt the mouse from side to side i think that's very easy and if you want to pan the camera view up and down all you have to do is just to press that same middle button and drag the button either forward or backwards to achieve this and finally to rotate the camera view while you remain on the same spot just press the alternate button and left click as you drag your mouse cursor around to view your game environment effectively i believe there are some other alt keys that uh, you can use for your project but in my own opinion i think these are the most important ones for now that uh, you can indulge yourself with and uh, as time goes on as soon as you get more familiar with the unreal engine application you can you can do more and you can discover some other odd keys that might be useful to get your job done and there you have it i believe with this you can easily get yourself acquainted with the unreal engine game application effortlessly if you like this walkthrough don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next one good luck